Hello, this is Eric D. Kirk for MamaWorld.com and welcome to this quick overview of Easy Bounce for After Effects. We start by keyframing a motion path very roughly using position and rotation keyframes. This looks bad. But that's no problem. With the layer selected, we just run Easy Bounce to make it look great. That is much better. So here you can see the animation again before we applied Easy Bounce and here after Easy Bounce did its magic. If you want to change the motion path later, just change the keyframes as usual and then run Easy Bounce again. Easy Bounce Pro also squashes your layers when they hit the ground. Let's increase the amount for that. Now let's say you decide later to rotate the layer. Of course then the deformation does not fit anymore, but as always, just run Easy Bounce again and everything is adjusted as needed. This chaos parameter adds some randomness to the deformation so that it looks less regular. Each time you apply it, the result will look different. Of course, you can also tweak the deformation manually. It's just a Bezier warp effect with keyframes that can be changed easily. You've got one keyframe at the start of each squash and one at the end where the shape goes back to normal. If you feel the movement is a bit too fast, in Easy Bounce Pro you can also lower the gravity. This results in slower jumps as they would occur on the moon, for example. So if you wonder how to create your next bouncing animation, yes, it is really that easy.